Should I leave money to my children's guardian? I'm Sarah Seedentoff. I'm an estate planning attorney in Atlanta, Georgia. And this is a question that I get a lot. People say, okay, I want to leave $15,000, $5,000, $10,000 every year um, to the guardian. And sometimes they know how this works. Um, and sometimes they're thinking, this is the money that the guardian will be using to take care of my children. Um, the way things are usually set up with trusts, um, if we've got money left for your children, um, at a base level, we have a health education maintenance and support standard. You can always add extra things and specific things that you would want the trustee to pay for. Um, but the trustee is going to be using that money for your children's health, education, maintenance, and support. So if we are giving money to the guardian, it is not for them to use to pay for school, to pay for groceries, to pay for these things for your children. It's a gift. And is it a great idea to give a gift to the guardian who you, you know, potentially um, having your children live with and making a big change to their life? Yes, it's a great idea, assuming that you have the funds available. Um, I would never, if you think if you think that there is a question of whether there are enough funds for your children, I would not advise gifting to guardians and other people um, until we know your children are taken care of. But yes, if you have the funds available, a thank you gift um, is great. If you have a number in mind, um, perfect. If you don't, my suggestion is a yearly gift of um, whatever you think a vacation would cost. Um, so that is going to depend, again, on your finances, but also, you know, the, what you know about them. I'm not saying a six-person European vacation, unless that's in your, you know, in your finances. Uh, but, you know, if you think about, okay, what would it cost to go to the beach, you know, we're going to figure my own children in there, like, what is that one-week vacation going to cost? Sort of a gift amount in that, um, in that realm is a great choice but it's a gift to the guardian as a thank you. It's not, you know, the only money, of course, they could use it. They can use it for whatever they want to. They could use it directly on your children. But if it's a gift to the guardian as opposed to money left to your children in trust, it is a gift to them and it's not the money that they have to use um, for support of your children. And um, we can also do, a lot of times we put in um, provisions for if the guardian needs a larger car. So. They drive a tiny car or they've already got some kids and now they need a bigger car. Um, your trust, your trustee can chip in for that. If they need a larger house, your trustee can chip in for that. Um, of course, it gets tricky because um, you want you don't want the tr your trust to buy a whole new house. You want it to chip in appropriately for an upgrade. Um, but again, that is different than a straight up gift to the guardian. So if you've got the funds, um, I love it. I you know often think of it as a yearly gift because we're going to be holding this stuff in trust anyway. Um, so it's not a situation where it could all be closed except for this one small yearly gift. Um, but if you don't want to leave a gift to the guardian or, you know, you're having your parents as guardians and you realize that they would be hurt that, you know, you felt like you had to pay them to do this, you know, no, don't leave them a gift if, if they wouldn't appreciate it. Um, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's a great idea. Um, if you've got more questions about this, want to talk to me about your estate planning and get, you know, get this sort of stuff set up, um, please give me a call. Um, and th thank you for listening and please like and subscribe.